Hello friends, welcome to our channel Mechanical Motivator. In this video, we are going to see a problem on development of your cone. This is a special way problem. The reason is, here we are going to tie or wound a string around the cone. Okay, so initially I will be explaining the question, then I will explain how to write a given data, then I will explain how to draw the diagram step by step. If you follow all the instructions step by step means, then definitely you can secure full 20 marks and grab your grade. So just follow each and every instruction. So let us start with the base diagram. So regarding the base diagram, the first thing which will be coming is what kind of solid they have given in the question. So what they gave is a cone of base diameter 60 mm and height 70 mm. So base, I mean solid is a cone means the base diagram will be a circle. We will be having it out whether we need to draw the circle in HP or BP. Okay. So they gave the diameter and height of the cone and it's uh, vertically resting on its base on the ground. So unlike this word, base on the ground means we are going to draw the base diagram in HP. A string is born. Whenever you come across a string is born, this sum will come in, come under special case. Okay. A string is born around the curved surface of the cone starting from the left extreme point on the base and ending at the same point. Okay. So we are going to start to tie a, I mean, bond a string right, right uh, starting from the base and ending at the same point. Find the shortest length of the string required and also trace the path of the string both in front as well as top view. So this is what they gave. So it's very clear that we just going to draw the circle in HP and uh, first step is we need to draw the base diagram that is the top view we are going to draw. The first step is you need to draw a reference line and mark it as X, Y, V, P, H, P. So we are going to draw the base circle in our HP. So take the radius, uh, they are given a diameter is 60, so radius will be 30 mm. Measure 30 mm in your compass, keep the center of the compass here and try to draw the circle neatly. Divide the circle into 8 equal parts. Since we are having cone, we will be having 8 timings. If you have cylinder means, we will be having 12 timings. So this is the apex point. So what whatever things we are drawing here, this is your top view. So when you see from top, you can see the base diagram or base circle. So you can name it as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Like this, you will be naming it up. And uh, dimensioning is this is called the extension line. Uh, two H pencil, dimension line H pencil, and uh, five sixty and uh, arrowhead should be drawn with your HP pencil. So right now we have drawn the top view. By extending all the points, we can get the front view of the cone. The next step is we are going, we're going to draw the front view by extending all the top view points. Keep your scale vertically at A so that you will be getting a point here. Keep your scale vertically at H so you will be getting a point here. Keep your scale vertically at G so you will get a point here. Keep your scale vertically at F so you will be getting a point here. Keep your scale vertically at E so you will get a point here. So this is the axis. So axis uh, for cone we will be giving preference for axis. So axis should be drawn like long dash, short dash, long dash, short dash, long dash, short dash and uh, we know very well the axis or height of the cone is 70 mm. From the axis, the axis length is 70 mm. So from here you need to draw the axis length for 70 mm and you need to keep a dot and write as O dash. And just to join all the points to this O dash. You got 1, 2, 3, 4 points right. Just join all the points with O dash. Now I will tell the naming. When we see from here, you can see A right. So A dash. You can see B but you can't see H. So B dash bracket H dash. You can see C but you can't see G. So C dash bracket G dash. You can see D but you can't see F. So D dash bracket F dash. You can see E. So E dash. So write the naming as I say. So right now we have drawn the uh, front view. For dimensioning, this line is called the extension line. It should be drawn with a 2H pencil. Dimension line should be drawn with your H pencil. 70 and arrowhead should be drawn with your HB pencil. So as of now, we have completed the base diagram. And next step is, since we are having cone, we will be going with the radial line method. Okay, since we are having cone, we will be going, by, going for the radial line method. For drawing the angle, so we need to have an angle right. For that, we will be having a calculation that is theta is equal to r divided by slant length. So, okay, so r means uh, 30. So, diameter 60 means radius will be 30. Slant length is, you can take either o dash to e dash or o dash to a dash whatever maybe you just take it up you will be getting the same answer okay i think so sound if i mm you will be having okay you just take it up o dash to e dash so whatever distance you are having right in terms of mm itself so into 180 degree or divided by l into 180 degree if you calculate means you will be getting 144 degree okay you can either take slant length as o dash e dash or o dash a o dash a dash anything you can take 
So once you calculate, you will be getting 144 degree. With this value, we just going to start or proceed the diagram for the radial line method. So now what we are going to do is, we are going to measure O dash to E dash. Okay, measure O dash to E dash. Whatever distance you are having, draw O A line anywhere in your A3 sheet away from your front view and top view. You can draw anywhere. So you will be having larger space, right? So you can draw anywhere. But see to it, you, you must draw away from your uh, front view. You should not touch the front view or a front line and all. Okay. Measure O dash to E dash or O dash to A dash. Anything is okay. Both you will be having the same distance only. So for that particular distance, you draw a line OA. Now you know the length of the OA. Uh, but you don't know the radius. I mean, you don't know. Sorry, you don't know the uh, angle. You angle right. So for that, we use this formula and calculate the angle as 144 degree. Now just uh, keep your protector here. Okay, just keep your protector O point and OA as reference. Try to draw mark a point for 144 degree. Okay, so this angle. So this angle is called 144 degree. Keep your protector here. Reference uh, base. Uh, you need to take the reference as OA and for 144 degree draw another line to some extent. Okay, to some extent. So that line is called as OA to some extent. Now you measure O to A and try to cut an arc like this. So this arc, this arc will be intersecting with this line, right? You just mark that point and close it up and try to rub the remaining part. Whatever line or extension you have, just try to rub it off. Measure. O A as your radius, try to cut an arc. This arc will be intersecting with the line which you drawn with respect to taking 144 degree with respect to O A. Okay, just close it up. And now what you need to do is uh, since cone we divided circle into 8 parts means 144 divided by 8. So whatever answer you are getting, you need to divide the circle for that particular degree. Okay, so divide it equally by keeping a protector here, divide the uh, divide this part, divide this portion equally 8 uh, eight parts. So 144 divided by 8, whatever answer you are getting, you just divide it up. Okay, by keeping a point like point, 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 point and then try to extend it up. Okay, then try to extend it up so that you will be getting here. I think so you will be getting a value of 18 degree. So uh, keep your protector here. Keep your protector base as OA. Uh, for 18 degree, keep a point and then 36 and so on. Okay. Uh, divide uh, equally for 18 degree. So 144 divided by 8, you will be getting 18, 18, 18 degree. So from here 18, then 36 and so on. So that you will divide this uh, portion equally and then you try to extend this line so that it will be reaching the curve. So if you will be getting your points on the curve, right? Mark that point as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, A. So ending point will be A. So what we have done is we just develop the surface of the cone. Once you uh, uh, develop it means you will be ending with the same point, right? So it's obviously understood. So in question they will be asking us regarding shortest than. How to calculate shortest length is just to join this A point and this A point. So draw a line with your HP pencil, yellow color chalk I drawn right. So just to join A and A, join it and draw with your HP pencil. Okay. And uh, numbering or naming, you just see. Uh, start well. Let us start with this point itself. In some textbook, they will start with here. That's uh, that is also okay. So no problem. Since uh, A means one, so I just started here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and again back to one. Okay. So these are the points which we got here. The same point we are just going to trace in the front view also. So how how to trace? I will explain now. Right now you just measure uh, the shortest length. You will be getting 142 meter, 14.2 centimeter. Will be getting when you measure from A to A. So it's nothing but 142 meter. That's what they also ask. They ask us to find the shortest length. So we have found the shortest length as 142 mm. Now just see what we are doing is measure from O to one in your compass. Measure from O to one. What our distance you will be having? You will be having the same distance for O to A dash. So I kept the point as 1 dash. Measure O to 2. Measure O to 2. What of distance you are having? For the same distance you will be get, uh, take your scale and measure on O dash B dash. Because it's between O and B right. So keep your point and uh, measure from O to 3. What of distance you are having? From O dash to uh, 3 dash. This point we will be having. Measure O to 4. How much of a distance you are having? Same distance you will have here. Measure O to 5. The same distance you will be having here. Measure O to 6, the same distance you will be having here in reverse manner. Measure O to 7, 
the same distance you will be having on the axis measure o measure o to a the same distance you will be having from o dash to the that is o dash to h dash you will be having a point and measure o to 1 same distance you will be having the concept is we will be starting from this string from the left extreme point what is said uh, a string is formed from the a uh, curved surface of the cone starting from the left extreme point and ending at the same point so 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash in the reverse manner 6 dash 7 dash 8 dash back to 1 dash since uh, we uh, at the back side we can't see we will be drawing with hidden since we are having the same we are, we are getting on the same point itself we didn't give preference to hidden so we just draw the thread in the visible way sometimes we will be getting in some other points at that time we will be uh, marking with the hidden lines so i hope so it's very clear so now we have traced the string in front view they ask, they ask us to trace the string in top view also see how we are tracing it so 1 dash is lying between o dash and a dash so between o and a we will be getting 1 2 dash is between o dash and b dash try to extend this point vertically so that between o and b you will be getting 2 a dash is between o dash and h dash extend this point vertically between o and h you will be getting 8 regarding 3 dash and 7 dash i will tell later on we will finish the remaining 3 point 4 dash is between o dash and d dash extend it you will be getting 4 here and 6 dash is between o dash and f dash between o and f you will be getting 6 5 dash is between o dash and e dash extend 5 dash vertically you will be getting a point between o and e as 5 so regarding 3 dash and 7 dash what we need to do is we need to draw a horizontal line and we need to extend this line till OA then we need to measure here with our compass and try to cut an arc and cut an arc below so the same thing we have done, done in many problems so I think so it will be very easy for you so as I said before from 3 dash draw a horizontal line draw a horizontal line it will, it will be touching either O dash A dash or else you can also draw the right hand side also anywhere I, in this diagram you have drawn on left hand side in right hand side also you can draw so just from this point draw a horizontal line towards your any extreme point then from that point try to draw it vertically extend it vertically till O A now measure O, o and this point and try to cut an arc above and try to cut an arc below so that you will be getting 3 and 7 now just to join 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 back to 1 so we have traced the string in the top view also so that's all so heading is development of cone height of the text is 10 mm you have to write in capital letter you have to use a pro circle and write the question number and you need to put the border from uh, right hand side 20 mm so from left hand side 20 mm top 10 mm right side 20, 10 mm and bottom 10 mm you should draw your uh, borders using your hp pencil and uh, the string length should be drawn with the HP pencil. You have to write the wordings as shortest length is equal to 142 mm should be written with the HP pencil. Here also you can put a box. The formula is theta is equal to r by slant length into 180 degree. Answer will be 144 degree. You can mark in a box also. So this is the way you need to present the diagram. So in case if you have any doubt means you can uh, type in the comment section. If you want us to make a problem on a particular topic also, just type, it, type the topic so that we will be uploading the video as early as possible. And kindly support us by subscribing our channel and uh, stay tuned with our channel. Kindly watch or scroll down other playlists too. Whichever department you are belonging to, definitely during your final year or job search, our channel help you a lot. Also share the videos to your friends, especially first year students so that it will be very much helpful for them during that preparation. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Stay tuned to the channel Mechanical Motivator.